Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Shruti and this is my channel Shrewspear and on here we'll be talking about personal finance, my journey to financial freedom, tips to invest, tips for university students and I thought of branching out a little and start talking about my career path aka actuarial side. I'm a student actually myself and I thought of talking about it on my channel because not many people happen to know what an actuary is. So without further ado, here are five things I wish I knew before I chose to become an actuary. The first thing I wish I knew before I chose to become an actuary is about how versatile this course was because from actuarial science you can branch out into finance and economics based careers and that is a good thing unless you're extremely sure you want to become a fellow actuary it's best if you don't take this course because if you don't like for example if you want to end up working in a finance job then you might as well do a finance degree and that will open your range of opportunities and also give you the necessary skills required for that job at the same same time if you are a finance student or an economic student considering to become an actuary then it's also easy for you because the only thing you need to have is a strong mathematical base for most societies and faculties of actuaries you need to have like your 12th grade high school level math and you need to be quite good at it and you need to enjoy math that is the most important thing to clear these exams because a lot of these exams are statistical and mathematical based so if you're good at these concepts like you need to have your basics in check if you want to succeed and pass all of these exams to become an actuary the next thing i wish i knew before i chose to become an actuary is about how expensive this career path was going to be yeah i get how you know when you search the average salary of an actuary and you see six figures straight up you get super excited and you're like maybe i should actually consider becoming one but honestly you guys as a broke student you spend so much on study resources exam fees and your university degree even i misunderstood about how when i get exemptions i thought i'd automatically become a member of whatever a society my university was linked to if that makes sense in my case it was the IFOA but later on i realized that i had to not only really pay tuition fees to the university but also exemption fees which was the same amount as the exam fees while writing for the IFOA and that's like draining my bank account you guys although there might be a return on this investment in the future but right now it's crazy expensive which is why I suggest that you guys should absolutely know for a fact that you want to become an actuary before choosing to go down this career path side note the IFOA is basically the institute and faculty of actuaries and I will be making a video about different actuarial societies and faculties around the world so hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the bell icon to be notified when these videos come out and drop a like if you're enjoying this video so far all right you guys here's the next thing I wish I knew before I chose to become an actuary and for me at least it's the most heartbreaking thing it's the fact that there's not a lot of math application in the job. Instead, you will need a lot of coding experience and a lot of logic involved. Obviously, doing the course and clearing the exams prepares you to get that level of mindset to deal with problems in an actuarial way. And for me, I hoped that my career was going to be filled with pure math based applications and model making but that's probably the case for higher level actuaries but at the beginner stage at least you will need to be really good at excel and it's preferable if you have some coding experience which i'm still trying to work on if that is the case where you're not really comfortable with coding and you hope that your career is going to have like a lot of pure math based applications then this is probably not the right choice for you Alright you guys, the next thing I wish I knew before I chose to become an actuary is that the path to becoming that highly qualified actuary with six figures in your bank account is extremely hard. And there are two reasons why I'm telling you guys that this is a hard career path to go down. The first reason is that to advance in your career you will need to clear your exams and essentially become a fellow of whatever society or faculty of actuaries you're a part of. A fellow is 
um, the highest possible qualification you can get as an actuary. And the second reason is that on top of your 9 to 5 job, you will have to spend some time to prepare for these exams and by some I mean a lot of time. So this means that you will have to sacrifice your social life which isn't necessarily everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of spending a lot of time, this brings us to our fifth and final point that is you will be sacrificing a lot of time and i am not kidding when i'm saying a lot in like bold italics becoming an actuary is just as good as becoming a doctor because the average person ends up spending seven to ten years of their life studying and clearing these exams and if you choose to do another bachelor's degree and then start writing your exams add an extra four years to your seven or ten year span as it is so that is going to take a lot of time preparing for these exams as well is super time consuming like how you can generally cram for exams a week before the exam date and then write the exam and ace it anyway it's not like that because i've learned it the hard way and you will literally need Need months to prepare before one of these actuarial exams comes up and to do that you need to be in the zone my guys because you might believe like you have free time but then you will literally start guilt tripping yourself into going back to revising for the exam because that's how stressful it can be sometimes if you don't think you have the willpower or the mindset to do that it's probably not the right course for you and that pretty much brings us to the end of this video for the week and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please drop a like and if you haven't subscribed already please hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon that way you'll get notified when more related videos come out in the coming weeks see you guys next week